Turn on the light outside. Huh? Turn the light on. We welcome everyone here today that uh, could be with us. This is my uh, my first attempt at doing a visual training, and uh, I've invited all of my friends. Thank you for coming. And I've also invited Sabrina Abernethy to join us today. That's Evelyn's daughter. All of you know Evelyn. She's like the social media queen of Jaffra. But anyways, I just thought that it would really be fun, and Sabrina kind of chose the subject, but this is something that we've never had any training on. And I thought that it would be really interesting to learn how to do, what is TikTok? I mean, I'm sure many of you are saying that. What is it? How do we do it? Why do we do it? All those things. So this is, is being recorded, so we will share the recording with those of you that can't be on with us live. But I want to thank all of you that are on live so that uh, you can make it so it's more interesting. And I think Sabrina is going to take questions at the end. So I would like to, first of all, turn over to uh, Evelyn. She is going to be the hostess. And um, then she's going to introduce her daughter, Sabrina. And again, this is all being taped. And we will have questions afterwards. So enjoy. And remember, social media is where it's all happening. And I'm so glad all of you that are here with me right now, you are all, you, you are invested in your future with Jaffa Social Media. Evelyn, take it away. All right. Yes. So remember, social media is your friend. Don't be afraid of it. It really is no different than just meeting people in any other type of platform. It's just happened to be on the on the computer no, or your phone. It's really no different. Um, so don't ever be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to try something new. And don't feel like you have to try everything. I always say master one before you move to something else. So if most of your people are on Facebook, master Facebook. And then once you get that going really well, then master the um, Instagram. And then once you get that going, master TikTok or YouTube or whatever. You don't have to do it all. I'm just that crazy kind of a person that does like to do it all. <laughs> but I remember hearing something called fit, get fit. That means Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And so I try to be fit in my business. So um, I'm, I will tell you really quick, um, this, the presentation won't be very long. And if you have questions while the presentation is happening, I would say just kind of write it on a piece of paper, sheet of paper, not in the chat because then that really kind of gets distracting. So if you can just write it and most likely whatever you have which it could be answered during the presentation, but we are here to help you. Um, most likely, more not really me. I'm not really to help, here to help you. Sabrina is. So let me introduce her. This is my daughter. She has grown up in Jaffa. So here's why Sabrina is a really good fit for helping us with this. She's used Jaffa literally since she was born. Literally. She started off um, with the baby skincare line. That's when um, the baby skincare line, the tender moments, the original first came out when she was a baby. So she's been on that. She's moved on to the teen line. That was the teen line that was in the little blue, little aqua blue um, thing. And then she's also used way back, those of you who've been with us a long time may remember the Geico um, little kid thing. And so she's used all of the products. She's used all of the skincare, except for the men's skincare. She's used every single one of them. Um, she's tried Defy just so she can see what it's like. That's not just definitely not one that she will need to use yet. So she knows the product line. We use everything head to toe in our household. So she knows it all. But then she's also a consultant who has been um, on pretty much all of the training that we've had. She's done all of our Jaffa conferences. So she knows both sides of the business. She's a smart cookie when it comes to Jaffra. So um, she's even done training once at Helen's meeting um, so, several years ago. So she does know, she does know the business. She's a good fit for this. Um, she is a college graduate. She has also done a millennial momentum foundation. It's a really prestigious leadership program that she did that with um, great with great names like Wes 
Les Brown was part of the training with that. So she's been around some really great people. Um, so I am going to hand it over to her and let her let her do her thing. And I will tell you real quick, um, sorry, Sabrina, is that I'm excited about this too, because she doesn't ever let me peek and see what she's going to do or talk about. I'm like, you want to give me a little sneak peek? No, mom. <laughs> Miss Independent. There she goes. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Um, yes. Um, so I'm just going to talk very quickly um, and I'll answer questions at the end. Um, there's two levels of TikTok. Um, I'm going to talk about the um, mobile version and I'm also going to go through the computer version, which might be easier for you guys to use. You can also upload on both, but let me share my screen. Okay. Can you guys see? Yep. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to go through the different types of what TikTok is, the type of content, um, how to make content, and what's appropriate and what's not to post. So what is TikTok? Um, it's a social media platform that's centered around videos specifically. Um, you can post pictures and other content, different, uh, different things other than videos, but majority is videos and it's built for that specifically. Um, so it was created in 2016, but it became popular in the US during 2018. That's when people started going on for businesses and for entertainment purposes, um, but not fully. Um, like it says here, majority of the people on TikTok started off as 13 to 18, so minors, children app. Um, but now after the pandemic in 2020, everything shut down. So people had to promote their businesses online, people are going to TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. So it blossomed a lot of age groups on TikTok. Um, so here are the type of content. Um, there are specific content such as, you know, people are, you know, Disney fans. Well, TikTok, for example, it's a big club, pretty much. It's a club with videos. So if you're a Disney fan, you might want to watch just Disney stuff. So you would, the contact you would like to look at are specific. So all, but every single thing they post would be related to Disney or a particular song or music or musician or a film. Um, there's artistic um, content such as like dancing, music. So singers, musicians will be on here to post or find a community. Um, there's also educational. So doctors, um, doctors, you can teach skincare. Um, this is very helpful for you. Um, you can educate people on businesses. You can educate people on skincare, makeup, because um, things that people are not taught in school or at their homes. Some people do not know how to um, cook or clean or stuff like that. So this is a way where people can educate um, their followers. Um, there's time relevant content, which is like news platforms, people who are politicians, but educate people on stuff that's going on in conflict right now in Russia and Ukraine. People are learning what's going on, you know, politics, things going on, crimes that's happening. Um, businesses are very popular since, like I said, 2020 and 2018. Um, so people can be selling, you know, Jafra, other MLM programs, um, their own businesses, people start. Um, and there's also entertainment purposes, you know comedy, um, pranks, you know, people post, you know, short videos in uh, films. Um, all of these content is important because you would need to use all, you can use all of these um, types of content for your own page to promote your own. Um, I just wanted to get back in touch with you to see where you were and how, what you were thinking. Um, so 
I'm oh, sorry, I just turned on a Zoom too. Okay. okay. Um, all of this content together will help you promote your business. So when you're doing a business page, um, maybe you want to talk about other things other than Jaffa. Or when you're posting Jaffa stuff, you might want to have comedic purposes or have an entertainment for people to want to watch. Um, So when you first come onto TikTok, there's going to be two um, areas. On the top, it's going to show you your following page and your For You page. The For You page is where people, when you post stuff, this is where your content will pop up. People can interact with you here. Um, you can interact with other people here. Um, it's very important for you to interact with people so you can get the audience you want is by interacting with other people that are similar to you or have a similar mindset or a similar content that you would like to interact with. And when you follow those people, you'll go to this page and all of their uh, content will pop up. And this is where people who follow you will look at your content. So this is where they'll be able to find you. Um, so here how, the, how you follow, I use my mom's <laughs> post. But there's three things on the side of your phone. It will be the like button, the comment button, and the share. Um, so when you want to interact with people, you can uh, like their content. And this will help the algorithm find people to find other people that you like. Um, you can also comment, you know, I like your video, you know, just comment something nice or positive. Or you can also share it to Facebook, to Instagram. Um, and it's not here, but usually on this little section, there'll be a little air, this, this little um, plus sign that would be right here. That's where you click to follow people. Um, that's just where people will follow you and interact with your content. Okay, so there's buttons on the, on the bottom of TikTok. Um, these are what they mean for the home page is where your following page and your FYP page is. Um, that's where you can interact with people, um, look at people. Your discover page is if you would like to look up people, like if you want to look up other Jaffa consultants, other businesses, what are they doing, what are their content looks like, you can type it in in the discovery page here. Um, and you can look up and they'll show you what um, it'll be on there. And I'll can explain it later also. Um, your inbox, in your index, your inbox page, that's where your notifications are going to be. Like, so every time someone likes your post or comments or shares it, it's going to show up right here. And it's going to tell you someone liked it, someone shared it. And you can click on what they like, what their comment is. And you can comment back or thank you for liking my video. Thank you for this. or you can interact with them. Your profile page is similar to Facebook page. You put like your business page, you can look up um, different things that you would want people to know about you. And this is a button where you can create the content. So your profile page, this is what mine looks like. I put a picture of me on there. It tells me what my, what my, um, page is called my tag what people can tag me in um, tells you how many people are following you how many people you're following how many likes your videos have gotten and you can edit it here um, if you would like but um, your instagram you can attach your instagram you can attach uh, your youtube if you have a youtube um, and you can write a little something i just put you know my personality type here, I put my age, just for people to know who I am, you know, what you would like someone to know. So examples of things you would want people to know about you is, you know, Jaffa consultant, you can put, oh, I'm a Jaffa manager, ambassador, whatever you have, whatever your title is. Uh, you can put, you know, your grandma, you can put a CEO, you can put whatever is relevant to you, what you find important to yourself that you want to share to others. That is what you want to put on there. It's a way for people to glimpse at you to know who you are without 
I mean, you'll have a glimpse of, of who you are in your videos, but this is just a way to click a quick way to know, okay, this is what you're about. And if I want to interact with you, or I like that, or I'm like that too, you can find a community of people who are like you or are interested in seeing more about you. So, so this is what your inbox page will look like. Um, whether someone is doing the live, you can do lives on uh, TikTok. You do have to have about a thousand followers, I believe, for you to be able to go live. Um, but it works. Um, you can go live. Um, you can see who else you're following is live. Um, and you can see who like your people. I commented something on this person's video and someone said, oh, they, someone liked the comment or someone replied to my comment that I did. So that's what it would look like, very similar uh, to what it would look like for you having interactions. Um, I'll show you a quick way. Let me pause this for a second. So when you're going to make content, you will click on this little button right here. Um, I showed a little bit of me. Um, you can put effects on the video. I'm putting a little effect on the video. Um, Good. I'm on a Zoom anyway, so. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. So right here, I'm editing the video. I'm putting music. <laughs> And then you can, you know, post this. You can write a little description. You can add hashtags. Hashtags are very important. You would need them to help people to boost your content. Um, can't hear you. You can't hear me? I was going to say, we lost your sound a little bit, Sabrina. I don't know what happened. OK, let me start. I can Am hear I fine. Thank you. Oh, can you? I can, yes. No problem. Oh. Must oh. be a West Coast problem. <laughs> no, I can't hear her very good either. It was pretty quiet. She got quiet after that one noise came in and then it went away. Well, you're oh, on the okay. West Coast. Okay, I think you got you back. You're good now. Good, great. Um, so basically what happened in the video is that I clicked on the con create content. Um, I added an effect to the video. Um, I recorded for a few seconds. And then I edited, I added a music. You can add music, you can add, um, let's see if I can do this without sound. Right here. Okay, so on this side, can you see what I'm pointing to right here? Uh, those uh, things would be where you would edit. So you can change the speed of how you want it. You can reply to a comment. You can put filters on it. Uh, if you want to add an effect in the beginning of before you record, you can click on this little square here. You can, there's like thousands of uh, different effects you can add. Um, you can add multiple different effects. You can have beauty filters. You can have funny content whatever if how creative you want to be or as it could be as basic or as creative as you want it's up to you um and you see, oops. okay so right here is where you can edit after you film um you can add again filters afterwards you can adjust the clips so if the clip is too long or you didn't like a part you messed up on a single part, but the rest of it was good. You can cut that part out. Um, you can add voice effects. So if you're talking, you can change your voice to sound, you know, a little bit different. You can have, you know, you know, if you want to sound like a cat, you can have it sound like a cat. It depends on you. Um, you can have a voiceover. So if you want to talk about, the like you're, let's say you're going about your day and you're trying to do a blog, um, you can talk about this is how I put my skincare, my skincare routine. Um, so you can voice over it. So it's a little bit more complicated to talk while you're putting on your skincare or your makeup. 
So you can just record it and then afterwards add what you're doing later on in the video. Um, and if you are talking, you can add captions for people who, for more accessibility. You can add captions for people to understand what's going on. Um, you can add Nick, you can add other effects. You can put text onto your videos, like wording. Um, so it's, I mean, it can be a little complicated and alarming if you're new to this, but you, I would like you to get a little bit more comfortable. So just play around, you post anything, just play around with it. Just, see, just have fun. Um, okay, so this is what it will look like after you finish recording your video. You can up here write what you want to say about the video, like you can write the name of the product, you can add hashtags, you can tag your friends or other people in the video. Um, you can control who watches your video. You can put private so only people who follow you can watch your content, or everyone can watch it. Um, you can allow comments or usually you would want people to comment on your videos, but you can turn it off if you have a little unnerved. You know, some people feel very uncomfortable, people interacting, very nervous. Um, so to avoid some kind of nervousness or anxiety. You can turn it off. You can turn off. People can um, post, can reshare. You can uh, prevent people from sharing it. So it depends on your comfortability. I'm comfortable with people commenting on my videos, but some people are not. Um, so it's up to you, but whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, so what's never to post on here is nudity because it is, for, like I said, most of the people on here are younger children and we don't want them to see anything. Also, if you do have post your children or your grandchildren, make sure they have clothes on or try to edit it them, that they have clothes on. Um, it's the uh, rules of TikTok to protect the minors from you know predators. So just to keep everyone safe and comfortable, just make sure that you know, nothing below here is, you know, covered up. Even if you are um, wearing clothes, but if you just can't see it, just make sure that they can see. Um, please do not post uh, locations of where you are. If you have, you're posting people, you know, delivering packages, please don't post, the, you know, your address or where you live or if there is something that is very distinct to your neighborhood or to your town, please don't post that because people can track you down and find you. I've seen people get tracked down. Um, they will, people will find you off of a picture of your house. It's very scary, it's the internet and internet is, you know, it can be fun, but it can also be very dangerous. Uh, you don't know who's looking at your content. Uh, don't post your income, you know, don't post checks or your credit card numbers because you know, people can, uh, I've seen people get their identity stolen or that I've seen people lose their entire check, their entire bank account has been stolen. So be very careful. Um, and another thing that you never, never post is bullying accounts. Uh, so no slandering someone, no defaming somebody, you know, don't accuse someone of something that you don't have proof for. Um, please do not discriminate anybody of whether it's race, uh, sexuality, um, any uh, culture, uh, xenophobia is not allowed on TikTok. Um, TikTok will people who see your content can report you. Um, it's just not safe. Um, if you do not like a content or a video that you don't like or you don't want to see again, you can block them or say you're not interested and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so here's a video of me uh, on my mom's page. I put the three little dots on the top. You can see on the bottom, um, you can put report, you can report people if they're bullying or hurting someone or you think someone's in danger. You can report the video. You can block people. Uh, you can, uh, if you're following someone you don't like their contact anymore, you can just remove their following. 
Um, but also if you want to share someone's content, you can send it to people like your friends that you're following on TikTok, or you can send it to Facebook or Messenger. Just to keep everything um, safe, just make sure. I mean, I'm sure no one's video is going to be blocked or contacted, but their TikTok is very strict on um, people's content. Um, people have been banned from the, from TikTok from very minor things, such as you know, posting with the shirt off or whatever. People have been banned or you know, forbidden from posting. So just to keep things safe. Um, and I'm going to open it for questions if anyone has any questions and I can go through it on the mobile on the computer. One. Is there any questions? Is there a limit to how long you can um, do this? The recording? Yes. Um, I for, thought it was like up to one minute, right? Actually, no. Um, it's three, about three or four different options. You can do it for 15 seconds, 60 seconds. You can do three minutes, and they just added you can minute videos now. That's a recent. Um, not, I think it depends if whether or not, if you just downloaded, you might be able to have it. If you already have it downloaded, you might have to refresh or update the app because you might not have immediately on there, but you can record up to 15 minutes. Any other questions? Um, I can go. Sabrina, do you have any, do you have any that uh, maybe you could show us? Uh, a TikTok, like something that Evelyn's done or whatever. Could you play one for us? Yes, I'll have it on the computer version. Okay. Right here. So here is what somebody posted. In. This is And lastly, much like Encanto, this movie did tackle a deeper concept. I'm so excited that Disney and Pixar are exploring new culture. So this is what, you know, this is what your For You page would look like a bunch of different videos you can scroll to see through different people's um, content. Uh, most of mine are edited because I liked and shared stuff. So mine is related to like cat videos and Disney videos and other social media stuff. Um, but let me see a following page. This is what your following will look like. Um, uh, so this is what you're following. It's still videos with people who you follow. So this guy, he's a therapist, and he com he, um, his contact is relating to helping younger children. Um, you know, he's relating to them and help giving them advice if they're unable to get therapy right away. Um, you know, people can post things on, like, artworks. You know, people film things. Um, let me find, um, one of my mom's videos to show you. What's the difference between TikTok and bounce uh, photographs? They look very similar to me. Um, well, you can post uh, photographs on TikTok, but it's more of a video platform. So, okay. people, so people will post it. It's, kind of, it's similar to YouTube, as in t YouTube is mostly videos, but it's very short videos on TikTok, where, tic where uh, you know, YouTube can be three, four hour videos. Uh, here What's the maximum on a on a TikTok? Uh, the maximum is uh, ten minutes, I believe. Ten. Development. It looks, just, very, like, looks very much like YouTube to me. Yes, it's very similar to YouTube. Um, it's a bit easier to interact with people other than on YouTube. Um, but it is the platform itself is very. Much inspired by YouTube. 
Um, let's see. This is my mom, one of my mom's newer videos. So see here, she has a bunch of hashtags that can help her videos. Uh, she has a little caption here. Um, and like, so you can comment here. Uh, so slow. But. And what better fragrance to wear than Jaffra Weed? This is all about women being empowered, unstoppable, and fearless. Can you smell the velvety peach, the rose damask, or, or and the white woods? I absolutely love it. You probably cannot smell it. So click the file link, shop the Jaffa store, and add yours to the cart. And when you add the $10 business kit, you get yours for 30 to 50% savings. Don't even have the sell, you just get the savings. Bye for now. It's International Women's Day, and what better fragrance? Um, yeah, Thanks. so just cute little videos like that. Uh, you know, this is her using an effect here. page you have your videos that you have post and videos that you like um all your live videos will be um locked so that means no one else can see them except for you uh you can disable it but i would encourage you not to ever um unlock that for other people to see don't make that public uh, especially if you you know it, it might hurt your business if you show people what you're liking if, if it's not relevant to business yeah. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any other questions I can help answer? Can you um like in the search type in Jaffra so we can see other TikTok yeah. videos that Jaffra people have posted? Just to get an idea. Yes. Good question. So you type it in. And all of this is going to be Jaffa related. So, um, huh. this is going to be doing inner love. Jaffa this is Jaffa Cosmetics itself. That's Jaffa's uh, TikTok page. Yeah, Kathy Connell O'Connell. O'Connell. Sabrina, oh, and Sabrina, if you if you do if you stop your screen share, we can see everybody, and we can see if they have more questions. Okay, there we go. Um, I do have a question about the amount of time that people are taking to make all of these videos, do all these uh, things. Is it paying off? On, on what you're getting in return? Uh, or is it still new enough that we don't have any statistics on it? But I know for personally for me, this is very difficult for me to do all of this stuff online because I never learned it before. So I'm trying to learn all of that. I've made a lot of posts lately, but I don't see really any result from it. Um, and I was wondering, can you connect um, what you're doing to increase sales? 
Yes, um, people do. Um, but just it, it's related to the content you post. And like I said at the beginning of the different type of content you can post, um, that some of the people would have to be entertaining because I've seen people um, make a lot of money on TikTok business-wise of selling. They've become very successful businesses. Um, I saw one person, she, um, she started her business on here and now she's a millionaire. I mean, it depends on what you're selling and who are you interacting, who's interacting with your content um, and whether or not you're connecting with people. Um, it is worth it um, in the video, it's up to you. Um, some people can do it with a short video. People don't take, you know, 10, 15 minutes to make a video. Some people spend, you know, an hour editing the video. It just depends on the type of content and what you're posting and by chance of who's watching your videos. Um, it just honestly depends on what you're posting and if the people looking at it will be interested in a Yama. Okay. Yeah. So and can I, do you mind if I address that too a little bit? Okay. Uh, a lot of times people go on and they'll do two weeks or a month or even a couple months and expect to make a lot of money. Um, generally, it's all about the consistency. It's building an audience, getting people to see you and notice you. So you're getting your getting exposure. But yes, I have made money. Um, when I use TikTok, I really kind of consider them my commercials. And so um, one of it, one of Vicky's favorite ones that I've done was the lip stains. Yeah, I love and it. I just did, it was a 15, it might've been a less than 15 minute, 15 second um, presentation. And I got sales from it. I've also got sales when I showed people how to use the microdermabrasion, I mean, sorry, the micro, the micro brow pencil. So I don't get sales every time I go on. Yeah. But it's also, always, also like, what are the needs of the people? What's happening? So, um, so um, what, one of the reasons I really like the TikTok platform is that I can go here and then I can upload it on so many other places. So I'm multiplying my use on TikTok. Okay. Yes. So going off of that, consistency, consistency is important. And also um, what you're posting, like for example, if you're making a video educating people on skincare, like this is what, how to wash your face. And some people have never learned that, you know, parents maybe not, the parents themselves did not know how to do that. So they weren't taught and you're not taught that in school. So they come on here and they're learning. And then since they learn from you, they're probably want, they're more likely to buy from you since it's easier since you already know what to do. So it's easier for me to get what you just told me what to do instead of going off to find target and then i don't know how to use that i know what you just showed me so that's the way you can get in sales from that makes sense mm -hmm. okay good question kathy though good question Thank sabrina you. your skin is like flawless i can't oh, stop no. at that face of yours <laughs> beautiful and that's from the and that's from the face of Jaffra. Quite a compliment. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's that was for a while ago. <laughs> You're still here and looking gorgeous. Oh, Jeff fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Evelyn, you do have magnificent skin. Yeah. I'm sorry. So there oh, I noticed that one of the someone that I found on TikTok, she was like in her 80s. And she basically was just doing little things about her lifestyle and recommending what she eats. And she's recommending, so this is kind of to Kathy, uh, that she, she was basically saying, this is what I do. Uh, I, this is what I exercise, whatever. And she had quite a following because, you know, she looked, she looked good and she was active. And she was basically talking about her lifestyle. 
And so aren't they called influencers? Yes, influencers, yes. They're called influencers. And I want you to know, they're, yeah, and, and I'm not saying that we're gonna maybe be a, a vet, caliber but an influencer has so many of a following and they literally are paid by youtube or i don't know if TikTok pays but once you have so many following you it becomes very profitable um yes um there's a lot of older generation that do other things um especially like i said in the beginning um TikTok has a very younger generation of people on here. Uh, not many of them have that. I mean, people are on TikTok and social media, you know, to escape reality a lot of the times. Um, and I've seen a lot of people, especially uh, much older people who became mentors to younger children. Um, most basic, there's one, a couple of older people that were nicknamed as the TikTok grandma or TikTok grandpa, mm -hmm. that people generally love them because some people don't have grandma, grandpa, or not a positive relationship with their parents. So they'll come on here and they'll teach people like how to change tires, you know, how to cook dinner, like, you know, college students maybe not know how to cook dinner, or maybe they want to go independent. People will teach, you know, um, finances and budgeting for minor children that are, you know, graduating they have to do you know how to apply for jobs you know this is what you can also become like a mentor to people because um, some people don't have um you know positive um influences in their life so it's a lot of people have advice that protect them keep them safe you know lawyers doctors will come on here and give advice to for minors or other people who just you know older people who also do not know how to do things or people, or sometimes they'll come on here for parents and teach parents how to be better parents or how to understand their children. Like, for example, there's a couple of therapists on TikTok um, that are specifically for um, their children psychologists, but they mm -hmm. are educating parents mm -hmm. on child psychology. So, you know, they're overwhelmed. Like, here's how you can understand, like my children, my, you know, teenager is lashing out. I don't know why. And they'll give examples of why and how to approach them without you being frustrated and for people to come together, you know, because not everyone can afford, you know, therapy or have resources. So just a basic way. So it can be like a mentorship and influencing people to help them. So that could be something you guys can do. Uh, with Jaffer and skincare, because some people do not know how to do skincare or no one not taught them how to do makeup, you know, and maybe they want to do that, you know, learn how to do that. You can, you know, come in and mentor them if that's what you are, you know, that's the content you want to make, if that's up to you. Okay. I have a question too. Um, when you add music, I know, I, I think you showed like you hit on a music thing, but does it pop up? musical suggestions or like how do you decide what kind of music to add yes so the music will well what tiktok does is that when you record for a few seconds or how many long um it will suggest you video uh, songs that they think would work for your video it's not always but you don't have to use them mm -hmm. uh, but they'll give you like seven or ten different suggestions but there is a search you can search for music you set yourself like if you have a particular song you like um you can look up a song like you like michael jackson you like you know you know whatever you singer yeah, yeah. you like you can add them so it's up to you mm -hmm. You want to use. and you don't always have to use a song it's not a song. like if you heard someone talk you, know, you can use speeches other people's speeches in mm -hmm. your videos as well. All right, so thank it's just you. an audio, it's not yeah. just music. Thank you. Can you show us how to do that? Is that possible to share your screen? I'll show you. Um, give me one second. Thank you. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, so this is where you would
think our Wi-Fi must be really slow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going, trying to. It's trying. It is trying. <laughs> well, that's loading. Um, oh, there it is. It is. It, 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 you got it. This one, okay, does not let me upload a video. Okay. Okay, so I can go on my computer and do videos too. I just, I don't always have to use my phone. When you make a video, you have to use your phone. If oh, okay, that's what I thought. Okay. You have to make it on your phone, but let's say you make the video on your regular camera. You have a regular camera you make a video on, you can upload it here. Gotcha. Yeah. But I did put it on this video. Huh. A lot of times Zoom isn't user friendly when you do things like this. That is true. They don't like you um, <laughs> going into other platforms. And that is true. Like that. Yeah, it, they are very. So I would say that you at least showed us where to go. Yeah. Yeah, she did show it earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see that whole, that left bar there where it says templates, elements. I'm, I'm trying to look on my phone right now. Oh, where? Are you on the, you're on the TikTok platform? Yes. Well, I'm on TikTok, oh, but it oh, says. I'm not on TikTok right now. This is a Canva. This is from the, the um, presentation. Uh, but, but you know what, Judith? Um, it's when you click on create, create, so that plus button, you've got to click that first because there's no element or effects to put on until you are creating something. Okay, let me see that. All right. Right there. All right, that I don't, I'm on, okay, so I am on home, going to home. I think I missed part of it. Okay, hold on. Let me um, stop here for a second. Um, well, see if you can see this. I can. Okay. Yes. Yep. That's what I'm on. Right here. So now, yeah. Go oh, the plus. All right. I can see that. Okay. Um, and I'll show you the video. Uh, right here, you can put effects on. I'll show you. Uh, oops. Do you see that, Judith? Once you push that plus sign, then it comes up. Okay, why don't I, I don't see it on mine. So I'm on home, I go to home, and then after home. So this is my home page right here. This is a home, home page, and at the very bottom, there's gonna be five little um, buttons here. Icon. Yep, okay. Um, the one that's um, white with red and uh, blue right here. That's gonna okay. be where you make content. So you'll press that. I have a question mark there. Yeah. <laughs> um, after so, you click on that, you can record this, uh, this button oh, right here. Oh, okay, yep, okay. That button right here is for recording. So you can click on it. That's going to record for as long as you want, 15 seconds, 60 seconds, three minutes. I don't have the 10 minutes yet because I have to upload, I have to re-update. Right I now, see, but. yeah, yes. Okay, so it says TikTok would like to access the camera. You'll be able to record videos and apply effects. Don't allow or allow. Allow. Oh, wow. Allow. allow to, okay. <laughs> I get so scared with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you didn't see it. You, you didn't give them permission. Okay. And after that, there's going to be two options right here. There's an exit, there's like an X button and a check. Uh, if you did not like how you filmed it, like you made a mistake, you can oh, yeah. click on the X and it will delete the video and you can start over. If you okay. do like press the check button, uh, check will take where you can add music, um, you can um, edit a video, shorten it. I'm going to click on uh music so someone asked a question about music so like I said, it shows you uh, options 
So here are some options it gives me to play music. Let's see, I don't like any of these options, so I can do search. So I'm gonna click a search. Okay. The search. And then I can look up a singer or I can go to popular audios that people are using, like viral videos. Cause um, some people have viral videos and you can use their audio. Um, if you're using your own audio, you can change the volume. For example, it'll tell you the original sound, which is the video you recorded. So you can change, you can take out the sound or you can make it louder. And if oh boy. <laughs> If you add the sound, you can make it louder or you can just move this around, you know, play around with it. Play yeah, with, you know, yeah, I didn't realize that. Thank you so much. Sabrina, can you show the cute TikTok that Evelyn did about, it says right here, wherever you are at the beach or whatever, have you got that one? I think the girls would enjoy seeing that. That's an excellent one. That, that, oh, uh, it's my lame video. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's really good about the desert. Um, yeah, I use that. Uh, I, I don't know if you can. You know what? Let me. I can do it. Let me share Let my screen. Sabrina. I mean, I just think that we need to show them. I'll share my screen. You've been so clever on it. I call uh, Evelyn our virtual queen. So here, you, you know, just I show that. It. That'd be there great. It. Yeah, show it. And there we go. Can you see? Yes, we can see. Oh, wow. No music there. No music. But gives, this gives them an idea of what you're doing. Oh, that's the best. I love that. Me too. And she's used her virtual background. She's done this on Canva, I believe. No, oh, no, I didn't. Oh. This is all TikTok. You use a screen screen. Okay. So did I have a, a screen behind me, Sabrina? No, I didn't. I did not have a screen behind me, which is why I kind of fade out a little bit. You just kind of, there's a green screen selection and then you put in the pictures that you want. So, so did I have music on this one? You did, did you had music. That? Okay, oh, I have it turned on. Okay. Oh, that's excellent. And then you have to play the lip stain one. You have to play my favorite okay, so one. so creative. A winter wonderland. Enjoy a bit of desert romance. So yeah, there's that. The lips, whoops, okay. So let me see the lip stain one you said. That's the one, I, okay, that would be down below. Now this one, believe yeah, it so or not. Like, one. Yeah, um, the ones you like. Well, no, I was just gonna say, now this one had the most engagement. All I did was wave my, wave my, um, my gloves. That's all it was, over 2,500 views yeah. on that. Now, um, that, the one you do with the desert romance, how long did it take you to pull that whole thing together? It didn't take long. Um, I just, Sabrina pulled up the, the I, I was busy. Sabrina does a lot of my um, helping for me. What I did with her, I just said, would you find some pictures? I just, this is what I want. I want to be at a desert. I want to be in the winter wonderland. And she just pulled those up. And the longest part was I had to change for each one <laughs> as a dress for each of the of the different backgrounds. So other than that, it's yeah. still quick and easy to do. Um, this is one of the ones that I like. Didn't yeah, get a lot of views. One. But I like that. This one. It didn't get a lot of views on it though. Love it. Oh, nice. So I was just kind of, you know, before and after. Um, but let me find the lipstick. It's like one of the beginnings because I was just kind of getting started. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, this is this. I got a lot of sales from this one. And that's all it was. I mean, I don't even think it was 15 seconds, just probably nine seconds. So I just do a lot of a variety of things. Um, you know, just, I just do a variety. And here I talk about exercise is good, is still good for skincare. So I do try to relate it to what I'm doing about skincare. 
Um, here was one on rainy days. I bring my own sunshine. I just held up Jaffra's sunshine. My computer went out. My okay, computer I paused, went out. I paused the recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, it went out, so I can't share anything else. My, I need to charge my computer. It doesn't hold anymore. I just said I got me just what I wanted, it. Evelyn. I just wanted to see what what a little TikTok could look like. Yeah. And then, of course, remember she not only posts it on TikTok, but then I think she goes to Instagram or do you go to, you know, it can be posted elsewhere, yeah. Facebook. So, but I, Right, is exactly why I like TikTok. So whatever I post here, I I take it directly to Instagram, and then on Instagram, because my Instagram and Facebook are connected, it goes to in, to Facebook. I can also send it. I um, put it on my um, YouTube Shorts because I have a YouTube channel, so it goes to my Shorts. I can also do Facebook Stories. So I, I can also send it to people through. Um, um, WhatsApp, there's, I can email it, I can text it. There's just a variety, which is why I love the TikTok platform. So I'm not trying to recreate the will each time. Nice. Right. Yep. And you all have grandchildren that love to perform. So let me tell <laughs> you, when you put children on there, they always get big watch, don't they? They, the, for some reason, children just capture people's heart. <laughs> Um, especially babies um, and pets will get very popular. Yep, very popular. Uh, your page. So you know that it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be you. I and it could be it could be a baby getting into your cream and smothering themselves. Absolutely right. I mean that's what grabs people. Crazy things. I think somebody needs you. Absolutely, you're right. All right, okay. we thank, we thank. We're gonna have close. A question. Okay. Oh, okay. I have put it in the chat. Um, hello, thank you, Sabrina and Evelyn, for doing this it's awesome training. Um, can uh, would you say how often would you suggest or recommend if we want to build a following on TikTok? How often would you recommend posting? And um, it, it seemed like TikTok is kind of like silly stuff giving a message. Is 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 that? Um, is can you relate to that? Or you know, and, and how do we reach the younger folks? Since uh, a lot of us are more matured, um, how how would you suggest Sabrina reaching the younger population with the products? that um, we have to offer. Yeah, so for younger generation, I would encourage a comedy or educational. Um, that's what the younger generation will look for um, to be entertained while learning. Also, it can just be plain uh, educational, um, but as for how often you should be posting, um, you can post like a few days a week you know, it's a week. Um, some people are more aggressive with their posting and they'll post a couple of times a day. Um, oh. It depends on your schedule, you know, not trying to post, you know, three or four times a day. Uh, what I would advise if you want to, um, take a day and record, you know, four videos and just put them in a draft. Um, and then, Throughout the week, you can post up. What would happen is when people post three or four times a day, they're usually not posting three or four times a day. They make like 10 to 11 videos in one day. Um, and then throughout the week, they'll post two or three videos they like. Um, and that's how they'll keep their following. Um, and if there's videos that aren't getting a lot of views, you can take um, what view, like, like like my mom said, the video she had of just waving, she got like 2,000 views on it. And a lot of them did not get a lot of views. 
So maybe she needs to post more related to what, obviously some people liked what she posted there. Um, so more elements related to that. Um, you'll see if, but, um, when you first start posting what content, but um, interactions you're getting will tell you what they like, um, but depending on how many views you got. So that is where you'll see okay, they like comedy or they don't like the, my, my sense of humor. Some people do not like the sense of humor or not many people are understanding it. So maybe move away from it or if they, you know, do more and more of that. Um, that will tell you a bit about how often and um, how much you post, but it would be great if you posted often, like don't do months and, most, uh, months and weeks of absence um, because you'll lose uh, followers. Um, and Sabrina, they spend. could go on, they could go and look at what other people have done. That That's the best education is just, right now we showed you what Evelyn's done, Sabrina's done. Now go into TikTok and start looking, get, get acquainted. You can't throw yourself into anything until you mm -hmm. educate yourself. So all your questions can be answered by just going to TikTok. And I thought Sabrina did a great job of just introducing us to TikTok, telling us what it is, where it is, how to use it. That's all. We, if she doesn't have the magic formula to tell you what video you're going to put on TikTok that's going to make you a lot of money with Jaffra, there, there is no magic formula. But get acquainted. And now you know what TikTok is. So for all of us that are seniors, when our grandkids talk about TikTok, surprise them. Tell them, hey, I'm on there. I know, you know, I got a TikTok going. I mean, you're, you're going to get a lot of hoots from your grandkids. So, Evelyn and Sabrina, thank you so much for being a part of this training. I'm so glad that we could uh, bring this to all of you and um, just have fun with it. And like I say, for some of you, it's not for you. And if it isn't for you, at least learn about it. That's that's it's an education. It really it is. So thank you so much. I'm going to close the recording and I'm going to thank everybody who joined us. And those of you that are out there in winter wonderland, I should not say winter wonderland, but that are out there in Facebook world or whatever and watching this recording. Thank you again. We hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, join my WhatsApp team. Join my Facebook team. You're all invited. Thank you so much. Oh, and be sure to join Jackie's Amber region team for consultants and for leaders. Take care, God bless, and hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. And again, thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, it was very, very, very oh, educational for us. Thank you very much. Thank you.